Sup guys and gals, dogs and cats and snakes here on YouTube. I'm Shane and welcome to my channel. Alright, so you now know that my name is Shane and then this is my YouTube channel. So I welcome you. Um I have three goals. They're not like, they, these are my three main goals for the channel, okay? Um, my first goal is that I want to document my transition as a transsexual male, which that means I'm transitioning from female to male. I want to document that transition so I can show it to my kids down the road so they know that dad is special, dad is different, you know? I, I don't want them to think that they grew up with a cis da cisgendered dad for the rest of their life. Because I'm not cisgendered. I will never be a cisgendered male. There it is. That's what I want. I, do I wish that I had been born a cisgendered male? Yes, but at the same time, no. But I'll get into that in a different video. My second goal is to answer questions or talk about topics in the LGBT community. Whether they're big topics or small topics, I want to talk about them. Because I have different views, everybody has different views, and I feel like kids or people who are just in the closet in general, whether they're lesbian, gay, bi, trans, pansexual, whatever you are, YouTube is usually the first place we go. That's where I went. Watching clips of the L word, watching YouTube videos from um, the Beaver Bunch. I don't know if anybody remembers them, but the Beaver Bunch. That was one of my favorite YouTube channels for a long time because I didn't know what I was feeling inside. And so, of course, what did I do? I came out as lesbian first. So the Beaver Bunch and, you know, the L word and things like that, that's what I spent my time on because I wanted to figure out how do I navigate the lesbian world. Because I grew up in a house where that's not a thing. So I had to learn from other people's experiences how to navigate a world that I had no, no idea about. I had nothing, nothing about that world was ever in my life. Um, and I also want to just have fun and inspire people. I mean... There are so many people on YouTube that have inspired me since I figured out I was trans, and even right before I figured out I was trans, well, I figured out what that feeling was inside of inadequacy and dysphoria, and why do I hate my breasts, and why do I hate this, and why do I hate that? I figured it out through Facebook and YouTube. On Facebook, I saw a picture of, well, a collage of pictures of a trans guy. His name is Ryan something. I mean, he's, he's a pretty well-known trans guy just can't remember his name. I think his name is Ryan. Don't, don't, you know, quote me on that. But he had a, there was a collage of him going around of his transition, um, you know, just of his face, just, you know, day one, day two, day this, day that. And I saw that and I was like, that's what I want. So I started digging and digging and digging. And now, and you know, after I moved out of my parents' house, YouTube really became a thing for me because I needed to figure out, well, what steps do I take? I didn't know anybody who was trans yet. So what steps do I take to transition? What do I do to do this? How do I deal with this? That was something that I did. And now that I'm, you know, out and, you know, most people know me as Shane and call me he, I've been trying to figure out, okay, so what are my next steps? So I've been watching videos from FTM Transtastic. Um, one of the guys that's on there that I, I watch his videos, Upper Chase. His name is Chase. He's a pretty cool trans guy. I like watching his videos. They're very informational for me. Um, Aiden Dowling. His videos are, have always, like, ever since I found his videos on YouTube, they're very informational for me. Um, I feel like him and I have gone through some similar situations. So it's easy for me to say, oh, well, I know what he's talking about. I've been there, I've done that. Or, you know, I, that's what I can kind of expect because... Not we're not the same person, but we have like there's I don't know there's stuff in common. We'll just put it that way. And so I try to find people on YouTube that I have things in common with because that means that they might have run into something 
that I've run into, and they could they probably dealt with it so much better. And I'm like, oh well, that's how I deal with that next time. Take a combination of how I dealt with it in the beginning and how somebody else can deal with it, and put it together and deal with it better than I did last time. But that is what my goals are for this this channel. Um, a little while after I post this one, I'm going to post a uh, video about an actual important topic to me. It's been heavy on my mind. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. I'll just let you see the video. Um, so I hope you enjoy my channel, and I'll put some links down below so you, if you have any questions for me or anything like that, you can go ahead and email me or Facebook me or whatever, and I'll answer them because that's what I'm here for. Alright guys, I will see you in just a little bit. Alright. Bye.